Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming my six week pregnancy update. I'm actually seven weeks pregnant today, but I'll update you on everything that's been happening in the past week. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go out now, so I thought I'd kill two birds one stone and do it as a get ready with me slash pregnancy update and I can tell you everything that's been happening. So first things first, I said last week that we were going for an early scan this week, which we did, and that was on Tuesday. Um, we went back to a place that we went with Grace, and I was actually the same gestation as I was when I went with Grace as well, which was six weeks and two days. And with Grace, we saw like the embryo and the heartbeat and stuff. So to be honest, I was expecting to see more of the same this time, but it was a bit of a weird one. It was... Firstly, she said that the pregnancy looked earlier um, than what I thought my gestation was. So she said she thought it looked more like a five and a half week pregnancy rather than a six week pregnancy or later. Um, so that was a little disappointing. And to be honest, I've had a mini meltdown about it this week because because I had that previous loss. Like, I'm just nervous all the time like it's really sad that if you've experienced loss and you go on to have even like myself having had a successful pregnancy since it still just takes the fun and the enjoyment out of that first trimester because you're almost like waiting for something bad to happen or like when I go to the toilet I'm like expecting to see blood it's like it's really grim but so that kind of put me on well caught me unaware to be honest um and I was a bit down about it afterwards although there was like a yolk sac there from which the embryo would grow so hopefully when I go back so they invited us back for a rescan this coming week and I will be seven weeks and three days so just over a week later hopefully there will have been progress and we'll see an embryo and we'll see a heartbeat um, and as long as I see that, I'll, ju I'll just be really happy because that will um, kind of settle my concerns and mean that I can enjoy the next few weeks a little bit more, although I'm not enjoying it for reasons that I'll tell you in a minute. But the other thing that was really, like, strange was that she kept going... So I'll, I'll put a picture in, but in, like, the gestational sack, there was, like, the yolk sack on one side and then in the bottom corner on the other side there was like a growth of some description, but you couldn't really make out what it was. She was really rooting around in there actually. So she tried it to do the scan abdominally first and couldn't. And then, so she had to do it at like the internal scan, which I've had before and like, isn't a big deal. Um, but yeah, when she did that, she could see like this growth and she kept going back to it, but it wasn't until she'd finished the scan that she was like oh well it looks like it could potentially be twins <laughs> but it's a little bit too early to tell so that's something that's kind of dominated the conversation at home in the last week because I would be ecstatic to have twins I think that would be so amazing for them as well to have a sibling that knows exactly what they're going through at every stage of their life I think that that would be so nice for them but I think Steve's a little bit concerned about that as you can imagine because it's such a big step up from what we were expecting and we were already thinking that it would be not a struggle but we'd have a couple of um more testing years ahead of us with having Grace already um, and her being under two when the baby slash babies are going to be born. So potentially, depending on the outcome of this scan and then like later scans, obviously, I know that um, you can have like vanishing twins, etc. Um, so depending on the outcomes of the next few scans, we could have three under three by Christmas. So in terms of symptoms this week, by far the biggest symptom, which was the one I was hoping wouldn't arrive, has been the sickness and the nausea. So I would say that I am feeling nauseous constantly and actually physically sick 
frequently, like multiple times a day, I'll need to be sick. It's never um, been as bad to be um, diagnosed with hyperemesis um, it, with Grace either, but I am finding it difficult to, well, drink anything. I don't really fancy anything, even like water. It's just, it's so much liquid. I feel like if I drink too much, then I'll just be sick. So I've been doing like little sips all day, but I probably could do with drinking a little bit more if I'm honest with myself. Um, but I can really hardly stomach anything at the minute other than like plain like toast, pasta, rice, chips, just that beige carby food, anything else. The thought of it makes me feel a little bit ill um, if it's too rich. So it all kind of set in at the beginning of the week and I'd made like veggie pie and I couldn't even finish it before I was sick with it because it was just so rich. And then, yeah, since then, we've just been having really plain dinners because that's the only thing that I can seem to kind of keep down. Um, so that's been really quite debilitating, to be honest. And I mean, if it's not twins, I feel like it's quite likely to be a girl because my sickness was so bad with Grace as well. But to me, I don't know whether it's because I'm not in the moment with Grace anymore or what, but it feels worse this time round. And that's been a bit of a struggle. And it just makes you feel like really emotional like I feel like I can't do a lot with Grace at the minute I can't really enjoy like doing mum things because I'm always feeling like on the verge of being sick or being sick like physically so that has been a real struggle for me last time with Grace I was um prescribed with what is it called I think it's called psych cyclozyne something similar um but I didn't find that it helped I have tried um switching up when I take my multivitamins and I've switched up the multivitamin itself as well and that doesn't seem to have helped the only thing that kind of starves it off for a little while is eating so I am eating so much all the time um because as soon as that like taste that do you know you get that like salivating feeling before you're sick as soon as that starts to come up I have to like go and eat a bit of bread or or just something plain to to try and keep it down um and then it seems to go away for a little while and then it comes back so um I'm hoping that improves over the next few weeks what I'm imagining though is that it's going to get worse and then it will just stop one day. With Grace, it stopped at 11 weeks, like on the dot, but it did get progressively worse up to a peak of around nine weeks, probably. So I think I've still got a few weeks ahead of me where I'll be feeling quite poorly. Um, and then hopefully it will all die down after that. Because of the sickness though, I'm finding it difficult to um, like concentrate at work or do even like the most simple of things because my head is always in that space of like, don't be sick, don't be sick. So I'm starting to think if, you know, my scan goes well next week and if things aren't improving sickness wise, then I may have to tell my boss earlier than I would do usually. Although I did the same, I've got the same manager I had when I was pregnant with Grace. And I told her really early on because the sickness was so bad and I'm envisaging that I'll have to do something quite similar this time around. Sorry if you can hear the rain, it's a really depressing wet day outside. I'm looking at it thinking how on earth will I go out there? I'm starting to think our idea of going to Ikea today is not a good one. Can you hear that coming down? I'm waiting for that to stop before I carry on. A symptom that's carried over from last week has been my sense of smell. Um, and I think it's only, it's either making my nausea worse or the nausea is making the smell worse. But literally everything can be smelt through these nostrils. It's incredible. Um, I think Steve's picking up on it now as well because the other day he was emptying the bin and he was like, oh, you might want to like step out of the room while I empty the bin um, because he knows it's going to set me off. 
but literally everything is setting me off at the minute anyway so I'm not sure it would have made that big a difference like the other day when I was emptying the dishwasher just the feeling of the wet dishes on my hand was enough to make me dry heave um so it's becoming a bit of a problem more so than cramping this week, which is what I had last week, I've just noticed a bit of like tenderness in my lower belly. So like laying on my front, it just feels a little bit sore already. And it's starting to feel like I probably shouldn't do that for much longer. Um, so yeah, that's the only real kind of physical symptom that I've noticed this week. There's been no more kind of stretching or pulling and, and cramping sensation. And then finally for this week, I've just noticed my skin starting to get a little bit worse, like blemishes coming through when I wouldn't have previously had them. I mean, my skin's far from perfect. I wouldn't describe myself as having good skin, but it's the sort of skin that I can keep under control if I keep up with my skincare routine and drinking lots of water. And I've been doing the former, but I probably haven't been drinking enough fluid so it's probably partly that and probably partly the hormones um but i've just noticed a few more blemishes around like the bottom part of my face and my cheeks and around my mouth um that i'm trying to get under control with like my spot creams and stuff but yes another joyful symptom of pregnancy so i'll just quickly show you my bump Okay, so that's it for this six week pregnancy update. I'll be back next week to show you my seven week bump, tell you all about my symptoms and hopefully I'll have some more at least conclusive news from the scan on this coming Wednesday. But otherwise, I will see you then. Bye.